just before we start on the transactions we I think we should add the method of payment what did they use to pay so I can just uh, duplicate this line and say um, it's a string I will call it payment method payment method so this is um, a string and of course I want to make it nullable just in case we don't know whether they're using card or or whatever means or maybe whether they're using PayPal, Payoneer, um, all the different stripe, all the different payments uh, involved, payment processors. So we can say PayPal, um, PayPal stripe, uh, Paystack, etc. So it depends on uh, these are the options that we can prefill, we can fill in here. All right. So thank you very much. See you. Um, I think we should just go ahead though in this video. Now, uh, the next thing we have to do is to install a certain library. This library will help us to generate the HTML files for all this. But before we install the library, we, library, we need to run our uh, migration so that the tables will be created in our database. So let me show you. As long as your, your warm server is running, if you're using Windows like me, you probably have warm server. But if you're using Mac, you have MAMP and all. As long as it's running, go to your server, to your website, any website on your system. Type localhost slash php my admin, hit enter. When it opens, we're going to check out the database just to confirm that it is empty. So mine has opened, I've opened the database QR code. Remember we created the database earlier in this video. So um, and we run a migration and it just added this tool. Now we're going to run a migration again and it will add more tables, all the files that we just created. So we go to our source code, and here we are. So to run a migration, you do PHP artisan, ser, not serve, um, migrate, PHP artisan migrate. So you do refresh. The reason for the refresh is that if you try to migrate when a table already exists, it will throw an error to tell you that I, the, the table is trying to create already exists. Remember that Laravel is creating these tables by looking at these files. So if you have five files inside this migration, Laravel will create five tables. And uh, these are the instructions for the table it will create. So the refresh means that delete everything first, then start afresh and recreate everything. I hit enter on my keyboard, and then I chill, of course. So this is going to take a few seconds, between 5 to 15 seconds. And uh, we have an error. Base table of view already exists. That's what I'm trying to avoid already exists. And there is more error. Nothing to roll back. Base table view, uh, view already. Okay, so try this. Try fresh instead. Migrate fresh. Alright, so the error has changed now, and um, guess what it's saying. So, um, in different versions of Laravel, you can use refresh or fresh. So, if refresh doesn't work in your own version, try fresh. Now, what we're going to do here is, if you look at this, you'll see that um, it's complaining about specify key um, too long. Syntax so error access violation. Usually, if you want to solve this problem, you just copy this. Go to your uh, your, your Google paste and search the first result always carries the solution just copy syntax error whatever the first result here we click on it specified key was too long i think this was the one i was looking for but i already clicked on something else so um the solution is here we need to paste this in a, a certain file in our laravel but before i do that i want to okay yeah i think we can just do that so copy this uh, you can type it out manually, manually, it's not hard. I'll show you. So we're going to go to our app folder. Go to our app um, providers, app service provider. Click on this file. And inside this boot method, we're going to add this. So once you add this line, the next thing you want to add is this other one here. Use, import the schema at the top of the file. We'll do that. We'll come back. Then at the top of this file, we'll paste this, then save. 
so we're gonna run our migration again so this is an error you get almost 100% of the times that you're trying to install a new Laravel app so always get ready for that error you always see this um, uh, syntax error or access violation one and seven. your own might not be 1071 it might be another number so I'll hit up up key on my keyboard and hit enter that's PHP artisan migrate fresh and this time it was successful which means if we go to our browser and go to our database and um, refresh or just hit on structure to refresh you see we now have how many tables want one two three four five six but if you look at our migration files our migration files are actually five if you go to database you have one two three four five the reason it's six is that laravel added an extra one for the migration this one is what laravel uses to keep track of the migration so if you hit enter if you hit browse you will see that uh, this is where it listed all the tape files all right so now we're done on the, in this video in the next video we'll go ahead and create the html the font and the forms and all